friends, so I am back with another review for you today. Um, and this review is actually about the, I can't even think today. This review is all about the uh, Plaza Premium Lounge on the International Terminal, Terminal 1, uh, at Toronto Pearson Airport. I'm sorry, Terminal 3, my mistake, Terminal 3. Um, so my deal was I had a flight that left at 5 p.m., but I had work to do. So rather than, you know, start work, stop, and then go to the airport and rush and try and finish working, for me, it just made a lot more sense to go ahead and go to the airport super early, check in, do my thing, and then get my lounge pass. Now, I've many times in the past, and I'll put a review up on that in the future as well, gone to the Air France KLM lounge right across the way, uh, which is honestly nothing special. It's decent, but I mean, it's nothing special. It is a lot cheaper than this lounge though, right? So this lounge, the Plaza Premium Lounge, for a six hour stay, I believe cost me $80 Canadian plus tax. Um, do I think it was worth it? In the, and I'll, you know, in a second we're going to go into the review, but in short, sort of. I think it was worth it to give me a quiet space to work. Do I, if I was just there on leisure, I would not have spent that money. Um, I don't think the food is worth it. I don't think the ambiance is worth it. There were no windows. The bar sucked. They didn't have champagne or Baileys. Like, are you, what kind of ghetto airport lounge? Anyways, here's my review. Check it out, and then we'll get back in a few Friends, minutes. Friends, here is a tour of the Plaza Premium Lounge at Toronto Airport. This is Terminal 3 International. So we've got, you know, a good paper selection. We've got a sitting area here. Unfortunately, there's no windows in this lounge, but you know, you make do. Um, more seating over here. Let me show you kind of the snack area. So you've got some desserts over here. I personally am counting calories today, so none for me. But we've got, let's see. We've got moose cake, some other kind of moose cake, a whole lot of moose cake, and I think some kind of tiramisu looking stuff. We've got your juice bar here, soda machine with water and soda, which is always nice. Got your dessert selection over here, soup. Uh, this is lentil and roasted garlic. I'll post a picture of this. It was actually really good. Um, just, you know, your typical coffee setup. You've got your bar here, which does not have champagne or sparkling wine or Bailey's, uh, and then you've got your buffet, you've got some salads here, some dishes here. I, I believe they have a partnership with a lot of the Asian carriers, so I think that's why they kind of cater to those palettes. They've got a cool make your own noodle bar. You've got your dessert set up here, and you've got your dining area here. So, not a big lounge, but you know, it does the job, so. That is your little tour of the Plaza Premium Lounge and my mess. <laughs> and just another TV here. And this is again at Pearson Terminal 3 for international flights. So if I were to do all of that again, I would probably go back to my usual $35 Air France KLM lounge. Or when you fly business class on Aer Lingus from Toronto, you also get lounge access to that free. Same goes for a number of other airlines. I don't know which ones because I've only done that through Aer Lingus. But, you know, it's a it's a nice lounge. It does the job. They have champagne. I believe they have Bailey's. Um, and for $35, you can't beat it. Is there a make-your-own-noodle bar? No. But guess what? I didn't even use that feature. So, honestly, I think if I were to do that again, you know, for my future trip, instead of Toronto, right? I'm gonna be going back to the Air France KLM lounge and probably won't go to the Plaza Premium lounge again. That being said, I know a lot of people, if you're flying an airline who that's, you know, based in Asia or you have something like a priority pass, you get either free or deeply reduced fare to that lounge. And at that point, it might be worth it. Um, Again, just bearing in mind, there's no windows, they don't have champagne, uh, it gets a little crowded a lot of the time and then it kind of just dissipates, it kind of goes in waves. And, you know, they don't have Bailey's and champagne. So that's my review, you know, not a terrible experience at all by any means, but not, you know, the best lounge I've ever been to by a long shot. So um, hope you found that helpful. Again, I would love to get your feedback. Let me know what you like about this video. Let me know what you didn't. And I will see you back on the next video with another review.